So I want to talk about this Airfix Space Shuttle model kit that I got about two years ago. Um, the box is pretty big, so it's a Series 10, 144 scale Space Shuttle. It's the full stack, the external tank and rocket boosters. Um, and I started it about a year and a half ago in early 2019. The external tank and solid rocket boosters are done. It took me about probably about six months to do that. And then I moved on to the space shuttle itself and I had a lot of challenges with that. This video I'm gonna talk mainly about the um, external fuel tank and solid rocket boosters. In another video I'll talk about the space shuttle itself. I think that deserves its own video because there were a lot of challenges with that. Um, and we'll talk about the decals that come with this kit as well. Um, so as I said, the external fuel tank and solid rocket boosters are done. And um, some of the challenges that I had with that and some of the mistakes I've made, some of the regrets I have, give you a better look at it. There are a few regrets. And sorry if the camera, there's the, the lighting is right on it, so it might be overexposed a bit. Um, so when you get the kit, um, the external fuel tank is just plain plastic. Uh, it's smooth. Um, some details that I added was this, this ribbing here. So I took some strips of styrene because um, the external fuel tank two thirds up is is this ribbed section, and other shuttles have other shuttle model kits have this ribbed section, but the Airfix one didn't. Um, what they wanted you to do, the decal sheet is here. What they wanted you to do in that ribbed section was put these decals in place. And I thought that was pretty crappy by Airfix. Um, I wasn't going to do that. Um, so it comes in in four pieces. Uh, this this lower piece here, the center piece, and then this top piece comes in two halves. So the seam is here. I've puttied. You wouldn't even be able to tell that there's a a seam there. Um, but this section here, I spent quite a long time on it. Uh, maybe I'll put some videos in, or some photos of it in the in the video. Um, but basically, each one of those is an individual uh, styrene strip sanded down smooth you're going to run into the problem if you want to do that of the styrene trips are going to stand out farther than the tank itself and you've got to sand them down um, uh, the, the plastic underneath the actual cylinder piece of plastic i had to sand down to make it thinner to allow for room for this and then these the regret i have is these this is also styrene strip band i, I should have just painted this in instead of adding these because it doesn't look great. Um, so that's that's the one regret I have with this tank is this this strip here, this band across the the rib section. Um, the tank is also smooth plastic. You may notice that it has like a uh, come on focus. It has like a it looks like the foam insulation on the real external tank. Um, what I did was I took a can of Alspar textured spray paint. I, I primed the tank and then sprayed that on there and sanded it a little bit to get the, the, the right scale and texture that I wanted. And then I, and then I painted it this, this foam color. Um, the Airfix instructions um, tell you to use Humbrol paints. I'm not a big fan of enamels. Um, but what it is, is it's basically a combination of these uh, 
paints and they tell you 10 percent 90 percent um so and when i did that they got the color dead on um i put a little bit more brown in mine but from each if you're looking at photo resources newer shuttles um the photos are a lot better now you have hd cameras but i'm doing the challenger and so there's not a lot of material on the challenger um, and the, the material that's there is is older content the photos are just overexposed or underexposed they didn't have digital um, cameras to take a really good photo for me to, to use it as a reference so when you look at the space shuttle on the launch pad or the tank being transported they always seem to be a different color some are more brown some are more orange i kind of went in between and, and i'm okay with this color so that's the tank itself like i said the only regret i have is that ugly band around it but the strips worked out i was happy i did that um, some of the finer detail is the piping that all go into the shuttle the main fuel line Airfix has done a really good job in this regard. A lot of shuttle kits, um, they don't have all this, these separate fuel lines. Um, and I thought that was really cool for them to add that. And on the bottom of the shuttle, there's a mount spot for those. But um, those are the two main um, attachments. And then for the nose. Um, so that's the tank. The, the rocket boosters themselves, I had a bit of a hard time with. I really don't like puttying and 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 sanding i'm not really great at it so there are some small little areas there that i could have done a better job uh, when you look at the the shuttle on the launch pad some of this foam insulation is actually replicated onto the lower part of the boosters and these weren't here once again this is half round styrene strip that i've glued around the rings and then i've sprayed that strip with valspar to give it that foam look and then just painted it the the color that was called for so that that's an addition that's not part of the kit um, so that's a custom addition that i i put in um, the you'll, some of the some of the boosters you see have a red coloring around a ring the the challenger that i'm doing which is the 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 january 28 1986 uh sts 51 which was the challenger disaster launch um i'm there were there were no red rings around the the boosters on that launch um and there was that that's basically matched as best i can the scheme of that launch um and the markings on the top um So the boosters are white. I don't know if the camera is going to pick this up. The boosters are white, but there is a Tamiya um, racing white um, on the top cone. Um, so from there up, it's a it's like an off white. I don't know if the camera can or if the, the camera is going to pick that up. This is an off white from here up. Um, didn't know that and when you go back and look at pictures or especially of the sts 51 launch that that is the case they're not all white um, the deco markings here mimic that launch as well these markings change from from mission to mission um, and I, while i'm talking about those markings i will say the decals for this um, i've already put those decals on the decals for this are really soft I don't know if it's the age. This kit was, uh, they started this kit, the Series 10, I think in 2002. Don't quote me on that. But I believe it was 2002. And I don't know if this was actually molded and cast in 2002 or, or later. But these decals are just really soft and fragile. Um, and, and I broke a few. They give you a, a few extras that you can. But you can see here if you come up close, not really a straight line. I may paint it to to mask it a little bit but so that that was my fuel tank and um srb and it, it's for the most part finished the sh the the finish on it is uh future um but not too heavy 
uh, a lot of people make their shuttles, I, I'm, I'll mention it again in another video, but a lot of people make their shuttle kits really shiny. And, you know, it depends on how the light's captured in, on the film when they take a picture of it on the launch pad. Sometimes they look really shiny, sometimes they look really dull. Um, I kind of went in between. I don't want a matte finish, I don't want a gloss coat. So I don't know if it's, there's just enough glare off of that. I think that mimics the launch that I'm, I'm trying to do. So hopefully with the added uh, focus, sorry guys for the focus, hopefully with the added texture on the booster or on the external tank and the ribbing, um, you know, hopefully that gives it a little bit more of an authentic because if I had just painted this uh, brown without the ribbing, I mean, it's a smooth tank with, you know, it doesn't really mimic, it doesn't really mimic it very well. So that was the external fuel tank and, and rocket boosters.